Hi all, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we will be understanding about the flow led transformation in mapping data flow in a Java data factory. So let's first understand what is flow led. If you have already worked in Informatica or any other ETL tool, you must have created this kind of flow led similar concepts like in informatica we have the maplets okay which is used to perform some repeated tasks okay so that like that logic is implemented once and it can be reused in different mappings so here also the flowlet serves this similar purpose in adf so let's understand this by an example so we have here the input data set as name and amount column okay and you can see the name is uh, here uh, in the input data set and in the output we desire the name to be in uppercase okay so for one of the column we are applying the logic of uppercase okay and this could be accomplished in adf through derived column transformation okay for which i have already created a video now the second column is amount okay here the dollar symbol is there okay as a prefix so in the output we desire this column to remove the dollar symbol and display the amount as is okay let's say this uh, this logic on the two columns we have to implement in different mappings for different uh, data sets okay so the same derived column transformation has to be applied in different uh, mappings so in order to avoid this uh, logic duplication okay we implement flow it so that once the flow that is created, it can be reused in multiple data flows over here. Okay, so here this, these are the lines which defines flowlet. A flowlet is a reusable container of activities that can be created from an existing mapping data flow or started from scratch. By reusing patterns, you can prevent the logic duplication. So the main thing is preventing the logic duplication. Okay, and apply the same logic across many mapping data flows with flowlets you can create logic to do things such as address cleaning or string trimming okay so here in the amount column we are trimming only okay we are left trimming it you can then map the input and outputs of the column in the calling data flow for a dynamic code reuse experience okay so we'll implement this logic but let's first go to the official documentation page of flowlet transformation so if you open the official page from microsoft so under the data flow transformations we have flowlet here it's written that use the flowlet transformation to run a previously created mapping data flow flowlet for an overview of flowlets see this link so upon clicking this hyperlink will be redirected to this page with what is flowlet it is a reusable container of activities that can be created from an existing mapping data flow or started from scratch and it is mainly used to prevent logic duplication and used for address cleaning and string trimming and the, and the flowlet feature in mapping data flow is currently in public preview so the day on which this video is recorded it is in public preview only so in order to understand the flowlets let's go to the adf and implement the logic so let's go here so we are in the adf and here in the data flow section you can see click on here and we have the option new flowlet okay so we'll click on new flowlet we'll name the flowlet as my first flowlet let's say and here if we go we can see upon clicking add source and add input okay so here the second option we'll use to add the flowlet input okay so click on add input and in the input settings you can see that there are like column names and type okay so let's name the output stream as flowlet input and the column so here we have the two columns name and amount so we'll name them as same name string type only amount string type only because it has dollar and the amount value so it will be string type okay 
list all leave it as default now on this input we have to apply the logic okay so the logic is applied on both so click on derived column okay and here name derived column as derived column in the columns we'll select first the name then in the expression builder click on this expression builder and upon name we have to make it to upper case so upper and the field on which we have to apply is name so here under this section you can see the column names appearing at the top so select name okay save and finish next comes the other column which is coming from the input is the amount so we'll click on here the plus sign to add the next column add column now the column name will be amount and here in the expression open the expression builder and here we have the amount column and we want the amount column to trim the dollar symbol from the beginning okay so it is left trimming so we have the function l trim click on it the string which we have to trim is the amount so click on it trim characters what are the characters so it is dollar so it should be in single quotes okay now click on save and finish okay next click on the plus sign and add the output okay so here it won't be sync it would be the flowlet output so here we have clicked on the output so let's name it as flowlet output okay this we have done one important thing in creating flowlets is that input data must be configured to debug the flowlet okay why we have to give the input data because in the flowlet input we have simply given the column names okay we have not configured it to any source it's just a flowlet input upon which we have implemented some logic on the columns and we want to see the result how it will look if we give some sample input data so here we have to click to the edit debug settings click over here okay now click on new so here upon clicking on new you'll get those two columns displayed let's say the name is sam and the amount is dollar 400 let's say some more data sets we want then save refresh the data appears name is converted to uppercase and from the amount column the dollar symbol has trimmed out okay so we have accomplished the task through this flowlet okay so we have added the columns we have applied the logic and we are giving the input data okay here in the debug settings here okay so if you want to change let's say we want some more data to be seen add more data save click on refresh yes so the data appeared for the name and the amount okay so here we have created our first flowlet where we have the flowlet inputs okay as name and amount column on which we have implemented the logic of upper casing and trimming and then we are configuring the in the debug settings the input data sample data to see the result okay now let's say this logic we have to use i mean this flowlet logic of uh, this derived column we have to use in some data flow okay so let's say we'll now now we'll create new data 
flow okay let's name it as data flow flow let okay so add the source so before adding the source let me show you the source source is in the container storage account as flow let input.csv edit and here we have the name and the amount and different columns okay same as the input data set so here we'll be adding the source okay we'll be connecting directly to the source not the flow let so click on source connect to the storage into account the file is csv we'll name it as flow let input data set storage into first row as header let's browse to the file it's inside adf container inside the input folder as flow let input.csv click on it click ok click ok now output stream name we'll name it as flowlet df input okay now next is we have connected to the source upon the source data set we have to implement the flowlet logic okay so here we'll go to the flowlet which is present in the flowlets section okay so click on flowlet okay now we'll name it as flowlet df and here in the flowlet we have this drop down where we can see the flowlets created in this data factory okay so the flowlet which we created was named as my first flowlet so in the drop down select the my first flowlet right once we select the flowlet the logic which is implemented in that flowlet will be applied to the source data set okay next is the mapping tab okay where you can see that the flowlet df inputs column okay it is auto configured okay and the input transformation column is this okay so here you can see first is name second is amount if it is not correct you can change it you can change the position also amount first name second and name first amount second okay now let's go to the data preview and refresh yes so the data appeared the name is converted to uppercase and from the amount column dollar symbol is removed okay upon our source data set the logic which was there in the my first flowlet this logic of derived column we have accomplished using the flowlet okay since we have accomplished this now here we'll click on the plus sign and attach our sink let's click on this name it as sync of flowlet then we'll connect to the output location first row has header goes to the location adf container as output Now in the settings tab we'll file name option we'll name it as output to single file that single partition okay and the file name we have to write so it's flowlet flowlet output dot csv okay flowlet output dot csv let's go to the data preview and refresh so we have got the desired result we have simply used this flowlet we have added the flowlet name okay which one to use and in the mapping we have said like which input column corresponds to the column 
from the flow rate okay and then we have accomplished the result okay now let's publish the changes and now we create a new pipeline pipeline for flow lets in the data flows we'll add this data flow flowlet <clears throat> and now we'll debug so this so this is running now let's wait for it to complete and then we'll go to the output location to see the file so this is succeeded now let's go to the output folder We uh, name the file as flowlets output.csv. Click on edit review. So we have got the desired output, the name and the amount column. Name is all converted to uppercase, and from the amount column, dollar symbol is removed. So this is very basic understanding of flowlets in mapping data flow and the flowlet transformation and how we can use it in ADF. I hope. You liked the video. Thank you for watching. Happy learning.